tell you a story about one of us. The great book of nature is open at another chapter. I'm going to tell you a story about two monkeys. Once upon a time, two monkeys lived together in a beautiful forest. The older one was a conscientious, hardworking monkey. His younger brother just wanted to play all the time. and we have a lot of work to do. We can rest all we want when we've stored enough nuts to last us through the winter. You have to think ahead. You don't want to starve, do you? You'd think we had to fill this whole cave. if you don't do your chores. What do you mean? There aren't any more nuts. I'm finished. Just look up there. There's a whole bunch up in that tree. Now go pick those. Uh, but they're out on the tip of the branch. Nobody can catch those. So what do you want to do? Wait until they fall out of the sky? Go ahead and try, but you won't get them.
our problems. The things he comes up with to make me work. Okay. It's all quiet in the woods to come. Listen, Mr. Eagle. Could you lend me your wings for a while? Are you crazy? How am I supposed to hunt for food without my wings? I can't fly. Could you at least lend me some feathers? I don't see what good feathers are to you. It's very important. Could I just have a few feathers, please? If you really need them so badly, I think I have some old feathers in my nest you can have. Come with me. Excuse me, Mr. Deer. Have you seen my little brother around anywhere? No, I'm afraid not. He's been off playing. Little <laughs> brother! Little brother, where are you? Where is he? What? Huh? Here I am. What the devil are those? world's gotten into you. Not like a bird. But I can fly right to the top of the tree. Now it's easy to pick it up. I'll show you. Don't be silly. Come down here. You're going to hurt yourself. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. What? trying to fly, he fell off the top of the tree and directly into a heap of chestnuts. I got just the thing. This should help. Ready? Are you trying to kill me? 
<laughs> now, for this to work right, I have to make sure it sticks. So I can't be too gentle. You'll just have to grin and bear it. Now, here goes. <laughs> I made him work too hard, otherwise he wouldn't have hurt himself. I'll finish the work by myself. of the nuts. Go find Mr. Deer and see what he has to say about your behind. Time. It's really sturdy. Here, you try it. Take it. Go on. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to enjoy making me work so hard. I do. Listen, it's the only way you're going to develop your mind and get brilliant ideas. Like when you use that stick to pick the chestnuts. The more we work, the more food we have, and the more good ideas we get. But the work's so hard. Yes, but it's worth it. How are you feeling now? Better. I guess. Good. Uh, why don't you take these nuts back to the cave? I'm going to go up into the mountains to get some more fruit. Ooh. I say, uh. some of them are falling uh. out. Uh. I'll pick them up later. Bye, brother. think I need anything. It's just a scratch. <laughs> You're lucky then. The meant to fall. You fell on purpose? Why? You see, my little friend, all autumn I've been filling my belly with fruit to put on fat to tide me through the winter. If I fall and don't hurt myself, it means I've got enough fat to last the whole winter. Then I can doze happily in my den until spring without a worry. 
You mean you don't have to put aside any food? Nope. All I need for the winter is a cozy den and the right amount of fat. Well, I've got to get going. I'll see you in the springtime, little monkey. So long. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> See you next year. See you. Why can't I just do what Mr. Bear does? It sure saved me a lot of work. Without working? Of course not. I have to go out hunting for food from morning till night. And for me to put on enough fat for the winter, I have to travel for miles every day, climbing trees and mountains in search of food from spring till autumn. Do you hear that? Nobody can survive if they don't work. Oh, my bottom! Don't worry, you'll be all right. Just look how hard your brother works. He hardly ever stops. You hurt yourself twice trying to avoid working. I doubt if the hair on your bottom will ever grow back. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, you've got to buckle down and get to work. I certainly hope you've learned your lesson. Uh -huh. But the younger monkey didn't learn his lesson. 
He couldn't resist sneaking off to play every chance he got and stuffing his stomach full of all the fruit he could find until he could hardly move. And he never gave a thought to the future. Meanwhile, his big brother continued with his nose to the grindstone and learned to use more and more tools that made his life easier. The monkey. How is the monkey classified in the animal kingdom? The monkey belongs to the highest order of mammals, the primates, and to the Anthropoidea suborder. Anatomically, monkeys are very similar to people, with a body in a variety of shapes and sizes, and a human-like face. Two characteristics set the monkey apart from all other non-human animals. Its first finger and the big toe are divergent from the others, and it has a large, complex brain. How many species are there, and where do they live? There are about 200 known species of primates, divided into two suborders, the catarines and the platyrines. They live mostly in areas where the weather is warm, excluding Australia and Europe, where they can be found only in Gibraltar, and they prefer a forest habitat. How do they live? Monkeys are usually found in areas with plenty of trees, and they live among the foliage. Most monkeys live in large groups, and their social life is dictated by strict rules. Only a few species prefer to live on their own. How do they move? Primates are considered the most agile of all mammals. They can run, leap, swim from branch to branch, and even swim. What do they eat? Monkeys are omnivorous animals and eat every kind of food. Fruit, bulbs, roots, seeds, juicy stems of many different plants, insects, and eggs. How do they protect themselves? Normally, primates escape across the trees in the face of danger. However, if necessary, they're very capable of defending themselves, especially with their teeth. How do they relate to people? Some monkey species can be tamed and make excellent pets. Unfortunately, many other species are now threatened with extinction because of indiscriminate hunting. Can they live in the city? Normally, monkeys don't live in built-up areas. Examples found in the city live in captivity, either in private houses, zoos, or circuses. Well, have you all learned the lesson? <laughs> the moral of the story is necessity is the mother of invention, but it never pays to exaggerate. <laughs> oh, look who's coming! <laughs>